Shaft alignment know-how. Offset and angularity. In shaft alignment, one of the machines is selected to be the reference machine, usually the driven. We call this the stationary machine. The other machine, typically the driver, is considered the machine to be moved. The movable machine is adjusted so that its own shaft centerline is aligned to the stationary shaft centerline within predetermined tolerances. Here we see the misalignment in just one plane. However, the same concepts apply equally to both the vertical and horizontal planes. Let's introduce the center lines of rotation. The center of the coupling is shown here. At the moment, the movable machine is misaligned. As you can see, there is an offset at the coupling. Offset is the distance between two lines at any given point. In this case, the coupling center. Notice that there is also angularity between the shaft center lines. What is angularity? You may have heard it before as slope or rise over run just as in the pitch of a roof. Angularity between shafts is expressed as the amount of change in the offset as we go along the shaft center lines. Typically, this rate of change in offset is expressed in thousandths per inch. Let's look at that pitch of a roof again. Its rise is usually two, four, six, or eight for every 12 inches of run. This defines the slope of the roof. Similarly, in shaft alignment, we use 10 inches as the run. Pretend this run is the coupling diameter. Now look at the gap between the faces over this run. This gap difference is the angularity for every 10 inches. In the real world, we will always find a combination of offset and angularity in both the vertical and horizontal planes. We look forward to serving your maintenance and reliability needs. Keep it running.